What's going on guys? We are back with another video and in today's video we are going to be showing you a POV of what it's like to be in the Hellcat in the driver's seat in the cockpit. Um, it's a little sunny outside. Sorry if I'm squinting. Um, the sun's out. It's a beautiful day. Um, the past two weeks in Lake Charles the weather have really ain't been you know good at all but um, we are here making a video trying to stay consecutive as I can be. I'm sorry for if I take too long to post. Guys, I've been working, trying to focus on school. I'll explain that later. But if you enjoyed today's video, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all in that cockpit. Peace. All right, guys, let me go ahead and turn this puppy on. Get that AC running. Got the LED steering wheel. This thing is pretty nice, guys. A lot of people don't know really much about these. Sorry, I got the slides on, can't see my toes. But this car actually has the LEDs with it. Um, the RPM, the zero bomb per hour, the that, <laughs> that, fuel, and it goes back. So it's not, really not that much. Um, that check engine line is for being catless but other than that we're pretty much good to go let me go and scoot my seat up a little bit um we are doing a pov of driving um i can guess i guess i can go over this so this is a 2021 dodge challenger hellcat guys i kind of say that every video i know i repeat myself but um the go button is the srt this brings you up everything you need to know and this is like the you know the performance pages the drive modes track sport custom auto so you really kind of set that before you drive so as the pov um screen's kind of pointing towards you it's pretty nice guys this is not a factory steering wheel just to let you know this is a custom steering wheel um so you're not going to have that if you were to get you a you know a brand new dodge challenger hellcat or any of them at all um so let's go ahead and get started with the drive i guess i pretty much covered everything my favorite part really of the, like the pov is obviously the steering wheel but i really love the cluster um, how it's red, it's got the SRT. Um, when the tire pressure in there it has a Hellcat logo on it, but we can get more into detail on that. We are gonna stay in auto. I do gotta go get some gas, but once I get gas, we'll switch it over. We'll do a couple pulls in the POV and uh, we'll let y'all kind of see that. And also another thing I wanted to cover is look at this windshield. You have so much clearance. Like this is my hand and look at the windshield. Like you have a lot of clearance over, you know, so you can see you're not no, you know, crappy Camaro or shitty Mustang so you can kind of see really really good open you got the scoops right there you can see them um pretty nice pretty nice this is the you know cup holders and the shifter and then you got your control center right here but everything really happens on here but let's go ahead and get started all right so let me put this thing in drive it's gonna be hard to drive in film but we will do it um, we are going to head to get gas first because you need gas to make your stuff drive. I do not have my seatbelt on, but you should always wear your seatbelt whenever you're starting your car. Um, let me go ahead and put that on. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go and drive. This thing's really cool, especially when you're filming. Oh, seatbelt on. One second. All right, so we are back. Sorry about that. I did get, I did get my seatbelt on. It is really hard sometimes to do stuff and drive. I'm not really that type of guy that does stuff and drive, but you know, safety first. Oh, watch the scrape in the parking garage. Let's give it a little rev for the camera. Let's give it a little rev for the camera. Now that is just a little baby rev. Going downhill is so hard sometimes. I don't want to scrape. Oh, this ain't the bad part either. The bad part's coming up. But we're gonna get there. I'm not gonna make this video too long, guys. I'm gonna do a couple pulls, go to the gas station, get gas, um, and then I'm gonna kind of end the video as there. I was actually supposed to meet up with somebody, but um, they're kind of right now 
I guess sleeping or I don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's my buddy Blake. Much love to him. He actually helped me get over um, a swollen lymph node. I really appreciate him, by the way. I'll say that in the video because um, that stuff hurts. I'm not going to speak too much on that because it's kind of like me complaining. But, yeah, Blake, you need to uh, race me again on camera so I can do a little video with you. But it's okay. It's okay. Look at this glass. This man right here. <laughs> Man, I love this thing. So a lot of people don't really don't know this as well. These LEDs right here are like gear changes. It's green, um, yellow is kind of flashy, and then red starts to flash because it's time to shift. Let me see if I can do it in auto mode. See that? Time to shift. Man, I love the way this thing sounds. A lot of people don't know I'm really... Um, I'm really a big uh, Camaro guy, like first starting out. Um, I had a 5th gen Camaro, but I've kind of grown to really love Dodge. Um, Dodge is really starting to impress me. Um, it, it, it's kind of like the way you're in this car, how you feel, what you're doing. It, it, the motions you get when you're in this car, it, it, it's really like it's a given. Okay, so I, I'll take a ZL1, I'll take a GT500. I'm not really a Dodge enthusiast full time yet. Um, yes, I got it tatted on me. I can show you all that again in a little bit. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it enough. But, um, look at that tat. <laughs> so I'm not really a full time enthusiast, but guys, yes, I do love the brand. Um, it's very nice. This is a really good put together car. Although I've never been inside of a GT500. I've been inside a ZL1, 1LE, and I can throw a clip up of being inside my buddy's vans real quick right now. Ready? Yep. God. That was no lip shit. Oh my gosh. All right, so now that you've seen that clip of the ZL1, it's kind of like, it's rough and it's fun but man oh man is it like very small let me see if i can do a pull right here in eco mode see i'm in eco mode so i'm, I'm trying to get y'all to feel the lights i did that <laughs> i love to make that sound when it pops um, you kind of just throttle it. Man, my finger's getting burned out on holding this phone. But, um, yeah, that video of the ZL1 is actually something I really like. Um, it, it's pretty cool. I love ZL1s. I love the way they look. It's just right now, Hellcats are just a wave. And it's just like not just a wave. It's just more of like what I like. Um, after having my red Hellcat for a while, I really loved, I really just loved being in it like it wasn't too small it wasn't too big um it was fast obviously i had it modified y'all seen that i'm gonna show you all a little dyno pull real quick of that yeah you seen the dyno pull i mean yeah that one was nice um it's just more or less i think the brand what it has to offer i'm a very i don't know i'm just very attracted to hellcats now guys i could sell this car today and i really could go get a zl1 a gt500 a gt350 hell i could go get a regular mustang as much shit as i talk i'm a car guy um these cars are hellcats um they're they're really being hated on and that's another reason why i picked it because as much as people hate on Hellcats, they really love to drive them and they really love to talk about them when they see them. So that's another reason to have one. But being in the POV of the cockpit, you're really, you're not lacking nothing. I mean, you're, you you got your feel, your power. Um, they added this, I think after 2020 as memory seats for the Challengers. They used to never have those. But the complaints about the windows as far as rolling them up, they don't have automatic, but, um, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, these seats are pretty big. I know y'all have seen them plenty of times. Um, but the POV is really hard to beat. 
I mean, I know you're in a ZL1, you're tighter. I know you're in a GT500, you're a little bit longer, but it, it's it's a good feel. I mean, I've already put 12,000 miles on this car and it's a 2021. I got it in uh, February, the beginning of February. And we are here in, oh my gosh, it's already August. Like, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I'm almost done with school. I mean, it's just something that makes me like feel good. Like, so I've kept it for so long, but let me stop and get gas. We're almost there. The gas station's right up there. My... All right, guys, we are back. Could not record the gas station. It was too hectic. We were only there for like 12 minutes, but um, yeah, that was just something I did not want to record. It was just hectic. A lot of cars, um, almost like a waste of time. Damn, look at the Arby's. That's another thing, guys. Let me go over this. You see this? Look at this. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just eight cars in my rear view um, side mirrors alone. Okay. This car is like for features of seeing, you'll be able to see. Like you're not in a Camaro or Mustang to where you can see maybe a couple of cars. It's got a lot of blind spots. This car maybe has one blind spot and it's if you're not looking. Okay. I mean, look at this. So if I'm looking at my blind spot, look, I can see plenty of room. Look at all the coverage I can see, plenty. Okay, that's another thing I like this car, it's safety. Um, when I'm driving and I'm talking to, you know, people on the phone or I'm busy playing with the music, I do a little quick look, boom, I'm good to go. Okay, boom, look, boom, look. I mean, look at this, look at the clearance. Like I can see his whole hood, windshield, mirrors, front grill, it's just, the safety features in this car, I prefer um, just because it's just, it's better. Okay, when you're in a ZL1, you're looking at this, okay? This is your coverage right here. You're, I can't even show you. It's, it's just, because this windshield is so big. Um, it, I don't know, I don't I understand, but I just like this car. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. That was a POV of my 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see y'all in the next banger video where all we drop is bangers on the No Limit Squad. And peace out. Peace.